Let's take a look how to make this interesting liquid trickery here in Illustrator. All right, so this is pretty easy to make. So let's go to the fill and the stroke and I'm gonna swap it. So the fill is gonna be black, click on the arrow and click on the stroke, click on the none and let's click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top. Let's go and select the rectangle and I'm gonna go and create a rectangle like this. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. I'm gonna make it intersect and press Control D. I'm gonna make like five copies. So I'm gonna select all these rectangles and let's go to the Pathfinder. Let's go and click on the hamburger here and select make compound shape. From here, let's go to the appearance. If you don't have the appearance or the pathfinder, you can go here to the windows and here you can select the appearance or you can go down and select the pathfinder here. All right, so let's go back to the appearance and I'm gonna go down here to the effects. Let's go to stylize and select the round corners. And here basically all you need to do is make the corners around it. So I'm gonna go and decrease it Actually, I'm going to increase it. So as you can see, if you increase it too much, it is going to stretch it. So I'm going to go and try to find a sweet spot. Maybe I'm going to go with like 20. Click OK. And I'm going to deselect it. And I'm going to go and double click on one of these rectangles, which I want to customize. So I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to select it. And now I'm just going to drag it and check this out. It is going to create this liquid effect. I'm going to select the second one. And look at that. Now we got results. And I'm going to move this here. If you want to still customize the roundedness of these shapes, I'm going to double click somewhere here and select it. And here we can go back to the round corner, click on it and just recustomize it. You know, you can decrease it or increase the roundedness alive. And it's basically non-destructive. I'm going to go down to 16, click OK. If I want to go back, all you need to do is just double click on one of the shapes and it's going to isolate it. And now you can select any of these. You also can duplicate them. You can press and hold Alt, drag it and check this out. Now, now we have like a new copy sticking to each other. I also got to complete this with a letter. I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to go with the letter B. And for the font, I'm going to select the Henny and I'm going to go with the M. If you want to get this font, I also got to leave a link in the description so you can download it. And I'm going to right click on it, create outlines and just place it here. I also going to expand the shape, select it, go to object, expand appearance, and I'm going to select both. Let's go to unite, select the direct selection tool and make these areas around it like so. So pretty much that's how you can use this interesting liquid effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.